Hi, my name is Mark Strepan and welcome to Blur Studios. And this is my workshop on working in the abstract. So for this workshop, what we'll need, what you need is a pencil, charcoal ideally, but pencils is fine, anything like that. A pad, a piece of paper, pad, anything you can use that you can draw on and then some form of colour, so any sort of like, it could even be crayons, it's not too much of an issue, I'm just using dorks, but whatever you can get your hands on, but ultimately, you need a pencil and some paper. So the first thing I want to talk about is, I like to work in the abstract because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for sort of implications, like an image that one day can mean one thing to you and the next day can mean something completely different to someone else. So I'm always looking for sort of to work with suggestions and it's always quite difficult because like say if I have something in front of me, like this, it's very literal and it's an image of it. And if I took a picture of it, we'd see that and we know what it is. But if I can pull it apart a little bit, then when we're working in the abstract. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we take something quite literal and we work with it. The first thing I'm gonna look at is like human form. So this is a, an example of just a little sketch that I'm doing. And I suppose we'll start there. So the first place I work from when I'm dealing with anything is there's a basic structure to the human form that I like to follow, which is that there's a round head. There are these broad sort of shoulder to upper chest area. And then when you feel your body, you've got these shoulders. And I like the bone structure of that. I quite like, and I'm not looking in proportion. I'm not too concerned about proportion. There's this long sort of muscle coming down from the neck. So I'm working with that. And then I've got the arms. So you've got the biceps coming down here. Then it goes into sort of an elbow joint and then it comes down. So I'm constantly working with this structure of this basic structure. And then we'll look here, I've got the torso as one sort of thing. And then you've got the sort of hip area here. And as you can see, I'm just using big elongated shapes with the, the knee joint there and that. And it's always quite a good place to start because it's like a basic idea of the human anatomy. But I'm not interested in working with that, what I'm trying to do is capture something of that person or their life within that, so taking it away. So often I'll think I'll see something and that will be the inspiration or a feeling. So the first thing, if I think about, there was a man who I was watching who walked across, this, it was a very like affluent part of London, it was this square and a lot of like old prime ministers and poets used to live there and I can't remember what it's called, but he walked across and there was an energy about him, like he was in his 80s and I thought he's retired, but there was, a, a, there was a everyday feeling to him and I was like, God, you could live here and still life, you still life is about going and getting your shopping. So there's a feeling there for me. So I try and work with that. So I start off by thinking about his head and if say literally his head was lobbing down, I'm trying to feel what that feels like and I'm trying to work with motion. So I'm trying to put impulse into sort of rhythm in a way. So if I did that, and that gives me some form of idea of what was happening, but then he had quite a stiff back, and so I need some rigidness. So I'm not trying to think too much, I'm trying to work with something. I'm not I'm trying to put sort of thought out the way. So I'm just putting stuff down. So he had this head, but I'm not happy with that. And I don't mind that. So I just try and find his energy and this back he had that felt like he was carrying the weight of the world. And then I don't have to draw in the whole body, but I'm trying to get that energy and dragging something behind him. So there's something hooking him down here into this area here. And this is like the weight of his life. So then I'm just playing around with that. And then I may move to colors, just to bring some life into the piece. So you can use any color. And again, it's without thought. It's like the energy, you're trying to capture energy with rhythm. So say he was, this is some lightness in his life here and I'm drawing him down here. So now, now I'll go in and I'll see what suggests to me. So at the moment I feel like there's something here that suggests there's a mouth of some sort. So that's coming out. And there's something pulling him away here. So how's I'm working, I'm just trying to draw out the image that's su being suggested to me. So if I put his brow across there, that's thick and furrowed. And then, okay, there's a nose here and there's sort of a downturn there. And I slightly can, for my liking, I can see a face now, so that's suggestive enough. And where he was sort of in this area, now I'm gonna draw him away. So see, constantly I'm just trying to work with rhythm and texture. 
to try and capture something. And it's not always going to work. You're not always going to land on it. But the whole idea is that working in the abstract is I'm trying to pull something about him and the way he lives or answer a question. So there's something going on here. There's something there. So I just I'd be a bit more certain about things now as I try and get some shape in him. I'm going to leave that there. And then the next thing I work in when you're looking at that is composition of a piece. So you've, you've got your original idea of, we looked at the human form, we looked at someone, and we created these shapes on the page, and we try to sort of work out how they fit in and how we can capture his body in a more emotional way, but also that tells a greater story of his life. And then it's about colour and like where that sits on the page and what that makes me feel. So I'm looking back and I'm not too concerned about this area here. So I'm just trying to get something up here. I suppose I'm just working with composition of what I feel needs. Like you know when you rain, like when you move a, a like a room around in your house and you sit back and you go, yeah, that, that sofa needs to go there. You're basically working on your own instincts of feel. I'm not particularly moved by this like piece. I'm not too satisfied with it. I'm not like, oh, this is communicating what I wanted to go. So you just you just move on to the next time. So you just you just leave that one there. And what happens is sometimes I leave it and I'll come back to it and I'll see something else in it. Because, so for example, this is a great one. So this is where I've just been painting and I've needed to mix color onto this. So this is another way, you just put some paint onto a page and leave it. And then when you come back to it, you try and find what the story might be within it or what's being suggested to you. So, I mean, we can clear, I can clearly see that, that obviously, it feels like there's some head movement here. You know, there's some mouth, there's some neck of something. See, if I curl around there, there's some sort of head shape and that could be the hair. So then I need to work out what, where, so there's, it feels like there's something around here and there's something around here. So I'm trying to find the shapes within the, within the work to try and create something that goes a little bit beyond than just what is, literal. So right now that feels a bit too cartoony for me. So I just go in with charcoal always and try and create some texture and stop thinking and just put these shapes that we've talked about on the face. We know the big shape where the nose comes down and the muscular and just rubbing it out, looking at the muscular structure of who this person is and what. It feels quite an oppressive sort of image so that I, there's something in that in moving the, the the charcoal down the page here that's helpful so then i go with some color and obviously color is so suggestive and it's all subjective but the whole point of working with the abstract is that if you're used to working in the literal of seeing how a face human face is composed is you're trying to take it you're not interested in you're trying to suggest things but you're trying to go a little bit further to what this is, and then the, the, to ground the sort of, to ground the image in something, it's always nice just to put something very literal in. So say if we put a, a shirt on, the, on this chap and a tie, which I can work on properly, but say if you put a shirt on him, instantly we're putting him, we're, we're seeing something that we recognize and something we don't recognize. So then this is instantly speaking to me about something like, there's something greedy about this. And then you go on saying, you know, completely political if you wanted to, you know, you could do a banker series where you've got this, you know, this chap who's like, what he's chasing is. So let me, but as you can see, out of nothing, we've got something that feels a little bit debauched, maybe twisted, something that's encouraged. So I want to encourage that. So by drawing these lines, see that direct line, I'm working with, so the key thing is I'm working with emotion, a feel. So the, the sensation was a debauchedness, a gluttony. So that translated into that, which is just suggestive. I mean, it's, and you can do anything, you know, anything strong lines like that. And then work in, pick out the details, put in pen on paper. And this is all within the figurative and also the, the motion I'm trying to put into the, the painting. So, so I just think I need to offer up a bit more normal human structure to this 
image now because there's something quite like Daffy Duck about it. So, so that, that thing has changed it. So I'm constantly just working and reworking something. So if I open up that, that gaping mouth, then potentially we're in a position of, and I'm constantly just standing about to see where I'm working from. So there is something in that here. Okay, cool. So along the way, you're gonna make discoveries and never be afraid. I think with the abstract, it's never be afraid to get it wrong. I think you gotta be, pre you can't be precious about stuff because you're trying to discover, you're trying to land on something that's something slightly more arresting. And composition wise, if there's something dark here, I feel the need to have on the painting something cont contrasting up here. Um, I'm just working. Okay, so let's just move on from that. So that's like working with splodges on the paper and paintings. And we've looked at the human form figure. So that fundamental thing of a head, suggestive of the body. You know, if I think about, I think I have to think about things that are personal or close to me and sort of ideas. So this, let's go back to this old chap. So we had the head, him, here, there, we had his back. But what was more interesting to me was his hand and he, the way he was like trying to grab onto this bag behind him. So even like, okay, so even like an image like that, let's just put that in a box. There's something that on a big canvas with black ink you could put on and then you just, that could be suggestive or powerful enough for what you want to do or what you want to say or what you want to be suggestive of because you can, people can read many things into that of what that is. You know, someone pulling against the wind, something literal, something just like a squiggle and a, something quite beautiful. Because also, with the abstract as well, when you pull away from the meaning, there also can just be something quite beautiful about something within a space. So that's that. Now I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna move on from face to just like general abstract painting. So rhythm and everything like that. You just gotta go with it. So, got our colors, got our page, put it in landscape. So, we're trying to create some form of structure. So the only way I know how to work is to go through emotion again. And it's the, the, so it's impulse or memory. So let me have a think. Because I, I don't know how I feel today. So I'm just checking in with my body. I'm like, how does my back feel? How does my knees feel? How does my body feel? I just feel there's, there's some form of unrest going in my stomach. So I'll work with that. So composition wise, there's some form of unrest going on here. So I start to put a shape to that, you know, and that's clear, that's like very guttural. So I'm working with that. So I'm just symbolizing my emotions. Um, so that's that feeling. And there's some unrest in there. So, you know, quite obvious, like there's, there's some distress of a red color that I'm working with. And all I'm doing this is to get, is to get color onto paper. To, and, I, and then it might suggest something to me and I'll work with that. So then I've checked in with my body, I'll tell how it feels. <sighs> my shoulders feel, you know, just like they're forward today, so then they come in here, like two shapes. And now I step back and I try and see if I ground the image in some normal structure. Again, just adding color and rhythm, working with rhythm and color on the page to see what we can acquire. Also knowing that we're not too precious, like the idea is you've got to move on quite quickly. You know, you're not trying to land on anything or discover something. We're trying to get to that place where we're working without thought or feeling. So there's a form of body that's taking shape now that I can see being suggested to me just by that little belly button there. So then, so as you know, the arm come from the armpit, but what? Not too literal, but just by adding a few that's fine, they're abstractions. And then we bring in some color to pull it away. You know, color I just used to highlight and just to try and make something relatively pleasing to look at. I would say that's probably too suggestive, like of a figure in a body being torso, torso being pulled apart. So then just moving motion lines across. Yeah, so that's, I was not meant to be working with the body again, but then again, so it just, it just, this is a suggestion that happens. 
So we just keep moving on. Now we're playing, and ideally by the end, you've got six or seven expressions that you can, you can just like put to the side and come back the next day and look at them and be like, hmm, because this is one I did the other day and I was just like, I drew the face and I got rid of the face and I was just so unhappy with it. So now, let's have a look at it today. It's just, for me, it's too plain. So here we have a face, and I might just bin this because it's like, but it might be quite interesting to go in and look at what we can find here in the abstract. So again, working with some, this is like quite bright colors, quite, a strong neck here. I'm just drawing over it. And it may be that by working on this, I might be able to go and work on another painting that, and it will release me. But, so this is very literal. So let's move out the literal by starting with some just suggestive lines. Again, working with emotion. So my feeling of frustration, I'll work through first of all with this painting, like the disappointment of it. And that's, that's gonna be temporary. So I'm just putting lines in, moving things around. And you've got to be willing to slightly take a risk because it might just land on something that then helps you create something Ooh. suggestive. And then maybe I'll go in and start to be a bit more literal about how I want to, you know, how I'd want to shape the nose and where the nose holes are and how the face is composed in this world, dragging it around. So there's some, there's some movement here and I feel like I need something to cling on to. And again, it's like, I, I'm obviously using quite broad and basic strokes, but it's just something, you see how I go over things quite a lot, because I don't mind creating like, um, I don't mind having a, layers and textures to my work at all, and being accurate. And there's something in, in that previous one, we did the old man the second time, where it was just quite simple, but, I mean, it's probably, that's probably just too suggestive of something. So you're just constantly working with a mistake, looking for something to happen. So that's a twist. So the face coming through, up around here and up there, a rhythm. Okay, and we go back to, to go back to the, just the drawing over the lines of the face a thousand times. And then it feels like you get to a certain point where like, I just need to introduce something that cuts through this. So I'm always constantly using these these types of lines in my work. So that, that, the cross symbol, those shapes like just that flow through. And I've just learned to embrace the fact that as a kid I'd like to scribble a lot and I found a lot of satisfaction in that. And I've just not denied that. I've allowed that to come through. And you'll be surprised because everyone who scribbles scribbles differently. So I want to encourage that. Okay, so let's just wrap this like up and just like sort of, um, what do you call it, like recap. So working in the abstract, the idea of taking something quite literal or a feeling and trying to pull it apart to mean more, so it has more implications than one, you know, something that's more suggestive um, than just a, an image. You start with uh, um, the, the human form, and the idea is that you're, you, when everyone carries on their weight on their body, just a completely different story, where they hold their tension, where their muscles have seized and everything, that's true, like how you lean on one side, how my shoulders run up, everything tells a story. So you're trying to capture that because it has some power and it's, it's interesting to, to even look at. So, you know, the head's not too important, but it's that idea of these shoulder joints and the bone and trying to create something that goes beyond that and a feeling of like someone standing in a shower and that arm going up here and that leg coming down here is already feels like we're suggesting that there's something in that in that idea. So and also the little amount that you have to draw to suggest something, you know, to create an abstract image. And then you can go in with colour to highlight or just in entice. So then we can induce a few colour here and drag it down. Fine. That's that one. And then there was also composition, which is the last thing we looked at, which is just working with our feelings to create some form of structure or movement on the page, working with impulse. And that's it. So it's always constantly moving the charcoal or pencil around the page, waiting for a suggestion to come in and then working it and working the image out and also leaving it to the side and cracking on. That's us finished. 
that's the session over. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to explore more studio sessions, just click here.